And it's the weekend. It's time for some more fresh recipes. We have Emily Klein back, local food influencer. You can follow her at Klein Eats. And we're going to make some refreshing, perhaps even healthy options for today. Yes, we are. Thank okay. you so much, Lindsay, for having me. Yeah. Today we are going to be making some mango salsa. This is one of my favorite dishes for the summer. It's so fresh, so easy to make. And let's get started. That's right. All right, so what's the first ingredient? The main yes. mango. Mango salsa. So yes, we're going to be using mangoes. And I like when I'm buying my mangoes to buy them a little bit ripe. It, they have the most flavor. And right now, actually, Meyer is having a deal. Seven mangoes for $7. It's a great way to shop cost nice. effectively, yeah. shop your sales. How many mangoes makes up what you have cut so up there? So I cut up two. Okay, perfect. And then we'll add one avocado to the All diced bowl. up there. All diced up. So you're going to prepare all these ingredients before and chop them up. Some red pepper. Is about one red pepper there? Yes, okay. one red pepper. And how much onion? A fourth cup. Okay. So you're not gonna use your whole onion, you're just gonna use a fourth of a cup. Okay. Cilantro. I add as much as, as, much as you'd like. It adds a little kick to it. Yeah. Love cilantro. And then you're going to add the juice of one lime. So That's a squirt arm, step back. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of juice right, in that watch one. Out. <laughs> And, and then, then yeah. a little bit of salt. Uh huh. So just add as much as you'd like again. And then cumin to top oh, it off. I never even thought to put yeah, cumin in a little salsa. Fun. And then we will grab our tongs, mix it up. And the best thing about this recipe is after you're done making it, it's ready. Right, and you can just kind of reuse that and kind of fill up your serving tray right. as needed. Right. So this is a great recipe for the summertime because mm -hmm. you don't have to heat up the oven. You don't no. have to stand over a hot stove. You can just exactly. kind of prep the veggies and then mix it all together. And yes. how many people do you think that will serve? It would probably serve four to mm -hmm. six. So it's super great for a small group and yeah. to enjoy. Fresh and low calorie, right? Yes, great yes. for summertime. Well, if yes. you want this recipe from Emily, we're going to post that on WTHR.com. Well, who else is hungry now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know four people. That would serve, we said, <laughs> one. One, me. <laughs> yeah. Just me, myself, and I. Thank you. <laughs> that looks so good. And as Lindsay mentioned, just like something refreshing with these mm -hmm. hot temperatures. Yes. But we're going to have some relief, yes. he said. We